Hey guys, it's me again. Welcome back to another foodie adventure. On today's foodie adventure, I'm sweating like a fat ass pig. That's what the fuck is going on. It's Hey guys, it's me again. Welcome back to another foodie adventure. On today's foodie adventure, I'm sweating like a fat ass pig. That's what the fuck is going on. It's so hot, but no, today we're at called Dumpling Park. It's this semi new place. It's like a food truck that sells dumplings and they have different options. They do have vegan options and it's off of Gladstone. So if you're ever around this area, I'm pretty sure they close once it gets cold because as you can see, we're outside. I'm excited to try this because I've been meaning to come here for a while, but they are also only open from 11 to 2. And usually your girl's sleeping around that time, so it never happened until today. So today I'm here with Anya. Y'all remember Anya? Hola. And uh, she's looking cute and summery. Yo, we were dying out here. It literally Still feels dying. like an African heat. Out. is so we're waiting for our food and then after this we're gonna go and we're gonna do a little bit of thrifting you know? and I love thrifting if you guys don't know so we're gonna see if we can find like a few cute like key items we'll bring you guys along and hopefully we don't have a heat stroke but thank God we live in Canada so shout out to free healthcare <laughs> all right so we got the blazing noodle bowl and it's got chicken looks like lettuce zucchinis cabbage i don't know what is this called mm -hmm. i like the color i've been seeing a lot of these on like a lot of Asian foods lately. Yo, you want to try the rice? I'll take some chicken because I'm not there. Yeah, I think this is a noodle. Yeah, it's kind of gummy. Got the vegetarian dumplings with rice, zucchini something. Throw the rice in the garbage. Throw the rice in the garbage. That's Uncle Ben's for real. Oh, take a dumpling first. Why is it like that? The rice was like super overcooked or stale. So we got a dumpling. The dumpling's okay. They're a little gummy. The bottom is um, a little bit um, like toasted because they did it like on a pan. Let me try a piece of chicken from this. I'm excited to come try this because everybody's been hyping it up on like IG and like a new spot. This is drowned in like teriyaki sauce. Like that pink, like teriyaki. I hate teriyaki sauce. That's what I hate those fake Asian flavors, and this is what it tastes like to me. I like the chewiness of it. I hate the sauce, and it's on top of everything. So these are like the noodles. They're like I like the noodles a lot. I like how the texture of the noodles and how they're like you can kind of tell they're homemade because they're just kind of rolled up in bitch. But the texture of these noodles are bomb. 
I just don't like the sauce. Maybe it would taste better if you ask them, like, can I have the sauce on the side so you can add kind of how much you want instead of, because look, it's literally soup. It's not oh. bad. It's just not for me. I like the vegetarian dumplings. Those are good, the insides. Yeah. But that's also why I like coming to taste places for myself because sometimes some of these gurus be hyping the hell out of places. But it's like a cute little concept. Is it, oh wait, let me taste your... Is this the zucchini noodles? Supposed to be mushier and way thinner, so this is the zucchini noodle. I've never had one, I'm dead here. <laughs> all in one, bro. It's just a zucchini, okay? Okay. This yeah, was $9.75 plus tax. And then hers was $13.70 something with tax. Would I come back? Yeah. Probably not. You know it'd be dope if this place had like Asian like cold drinks because it's hot out here. No, this is a this is a no for me. Not a no. Because I would eat the dumplings. I'd probably just come back here for the dumplings. But I'm gonna give it a from my meal 6.5. Yeah. I care for me more than I care for you. No, you say you love me true. Girl, right now you got me waterproof. I got too much to lose. I care for me more than I care for you. No, you say you love me. So we left Dumpling Park. I look so greasy, but you guys, it's so hot outside and it's like September, what today? Fifth? Yeah. And it literally feels like 30 something degrees the hottest day. I can't deal. So we left. The food was all right. Honestly, I'm not gonna say it was horrible. I just wasn't a fan of that like teriyaki soy sauce that was just dumped on everything. I really liked the dumplings. The noodles were really good. They had a really nice texture and everything like that. I just wish there was less of that sauce, basically. But um, shout out to Dumpling Park. If you guys want to try it out for yourself, go ahead. I mean, you can only really know if you like it if you try it for yourself. So now we're in Anya's car in the AC. Thank you, Jesus. And we're gonna go thrifting. But it's just a thrift store wherever in the city. And we're gonna see if we can find something there. I don't know, I need a cold drink, a nice cap or something. And I guess I'll hit you guys up when we get there. Alright. <laughs> Found our way to the thrift store. There's a whole bunch of shit. So let's see what we can find. I don't really know what we're looking for. We're just kind of here. <laughs> and, um. big but I like the color yay or nay I could put a sweater underneath here all right you guys I found another jacket basically I'm your modern-day Barney I'm for sure getting this how cute Yes, to the purple fur. If 
found our way to the purse section, so let's see what we can find. I feel like purses are like the ones that you can always find a hidden gem somewhere. Last time I was here, I found some Louis Vuitton. I see you underneath that mop you call I Well, I'm the one who Hey okay, guys, so we left the thrift store and now we're at Tangerine Outlet It's not actually Tanger. called Tangerine, <laughs> but I'm gonna remix it It's the Tanger Outlets in Stittsville And yes, I'm still sweating my life away um, so yeah, there's a bunch of outlet stores. I see America and Eagle, the Trade, Zoomies, Calvin Klein, Marshalls, Nike. Might as well get some Nike now that you know the secret's out with Kaepernick. Um, if you guys have ever been to the outlets in Montreal, like Quartier Distante, it's like an indoor outdoor type of concept. Yeah. Hey guys, so sorry about that. After that footage, uh, my camera died, and then also there was a huge torrential downpour, so I had to protect the cannon at all costs and turn it off. We didn't really do much. We ended up meeting up with my mom. We went to Bath and Body Works, and there was a huge like torrential downpour, like I said, and we just ended up going home. <laughs> So, yeah, so why am I gonna buy them? Think overnight on it. Really, it was just like a good chill day with my happy beam. Anyway, sorry for the awkward way this video is ending. I promise I'm gonna get better at all this stuff. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one.